Hello everyone, I've been using the Toner TC30 RGB microphone for a little over 3 months and I wanted to review it. I started my channel in February and I wanted an inexpensive upgrade over the USB headset I currently use. You can buy this from Amazon and it only costs just under £35 in the UK and $34 in the US. The non-RGB version is only a few pounds or dollars cheaper but the RGB looks much cooler so it's worth spending the extra money for it. It comes with a 2 year warranty which is great and shows confidence in their product. Inside the box you have the instruction manual, let's pop that to a side, and the microphone itself which comes attached to a small tripod. It has a pop filter that attaches to the top of the mic in a slot. It also comes with a USB to USB-C connector which powers this. The legs can be twisted off leaving a 5 8 inch connector so you can attach it to a boom arm if you wanted which I plan to do at a later date. For those of you who are interested, on screen now is the technical spec for this microphone, which I don't really understand yet, so let me know in the comments what I should be looking out for. You do not need to install drivers as it's plug and play and I am running Windows 10. When it's plugged in it cycles through colours and it looks great when the lights are low and it also complements the RGB theme that I have going on in my room. Now let's get on to the quality of the audio. On my first YouTube video I used this Plantronics Blackwire 3220 headset. It was around £26 or around $30 and I use this for my work calls and it works perfectly. Here's an example of what it sounds like when reading a script from one of my other videos. This is the raw audio with no tweaks. You can select from a 12th gen i5 to i7 processor. All have a 12 megabyte cache, 10 cores and 12 threads. Now this is how it sounds with a tone or microphone reading the same script. You can select from a 12th gen i5 to a i7 processor. All have a 12 megabyte cache, 10 cores and 12 threads. As you can notice it's a lot clearer compared to the Plantronics headset. I've added some tweaks using Audacity to enhance it a bit more. And here's how the Tono microphone sounds now. You can select from a 12th gen i5 to a i7 processor. All have a 12 megabyte cache, 10 cores and 12 threads. So what's the final verdict? Should you avoid it? Shortlist? Or should you go ahead and buy it? Well that's obvious as I've already mentioned I've bought it. I've created 7 videos with it so far and I'm very happy with it. I've used it on a few work calls and I've been told it's a lot clearer compared to the Plantronics headset. I've also used it for gaming and not had any complaints from my friends. For the price it's excellent and with almost 20,000 reviews on Amazon sitting at a score of 4.5 a lot of other people agree. A link to the product is in the description so if you are considering buying then please support my channel by using that link. As mentioned earlier I will be buying a boom arm for this and I have my eyes set on the RGB boom arm from Tona so please consider subscribing if you want to see that review. I hope you liked the video, if you did please give it a like. Thank you for watching.